using an on-screen keyboard on a tablet sometimes become pretty difficult. So you can make your life easy by tapping on this button here and now you will see three options. The one that we're using right now is the standard option. If you select split keyboard, it will split the keyboard to the right and left and now it is much easier to type on it with two hands. But the third option is even better. So this is the floating keyboard and this is a smartphone size keyboard with full functionality. You have all the options built into it and now you can type with even one hand with this miniature keyboard on your tablet's display. And you can move this window around as well. You can also select text from your photos. So I have a photo here and I'm going to long press on the text and then I can just select whatever it is that I want to select and then copy it, share it and select all. So whenever I have some text in the camera preview, this T button appears here and I can tap on it and it will select all the text for me. And then I can select whatever I want and copy from here as well. On Galaxy Tab S10 FE, you can also very quickly remove backgrounds from photos. So if I go in gallery and let's say I want to remove the background from here. So I'll select this subject here and now when I leave it, it'll, it will give me this option. So I can save it as a sticker and I can save it as an image. So if I select save as image, I'll go back and I'll see that the subject here, the background has been removed. You can also move subjects from one photo to another. And for that, all you have to do is long press on the subject and then once it's selected, you can move the photos around and drop it on another photo. And once you'll drop it, you can then adjust it and press save. You can access quick share from the quick settings panel and long press on it. And now we are in the quick share settings. Now here you will see this option allow sharing over the internet. So what it says here is that if it's not possible to share using a direct connection, sharing will continue over the internet using Wi-Fi. So if your direct connection is not possible while you're sharing between your devices or with your friends or whatever, sharing will not stop and it will move on to the internet sharing or Wi-Fi sharing, but the sharing will continue to happen. Quick share as it is, is a fantastic feature from Samsung, but with this feature, it becomes even more powerful. If you go in settings, and then go in advanced features. Here you will see this option labs. Go in here and here you will get few options. The first one is multi window for all apps. Now most of the apps that I have used on this tablet, they support multi window, but in case there is an app that doesn't support multi window, you can force that app to open in split screen view using this feature. Below this, you will see landscape view for portrait apps and it does exactly what it says. So if there is an app on this tablet that does not support landscape view, it supports portrait option. You can come in here, find this app and turn on the landscape view for this app. And that will force this app to open in the landscape view as well, even though it doesn't support it. And then the last thing that you will see here is dark mode apps. So we'll go in here. So here you can choose apps that will always use dark mode, even when your tablet is set to light mode. If an app is set to use light mode in the app setting, it will appear in light mode regardless of what you set here. So again, you can force apps to open in dark mode unless you have selected light mode in the app setting. So you can force the apps to do that as well. So right now, one of the apps that is doing this is you do. Now I want to talk about the hidden gem in One UI 7. A lot of people don't even realize it's there and how powerful it is. So this is the search feature also known as finder. So you go into the app drawer, tap on this and it brings up this search option for us. And here you can search for anything and it will pull up results from your app drawer, from your apps, from calendar, from contacts, from messages. It will also pull up Google search, YouTube search. It will provide you links from Google Play Store and Galaxy Store. You name it, whatever it is that you want to search for, you can search for in the finder and it will bring it for you. So let's try this out. I want to search for keep here you can see that it brings up uh, google keep shortcuts we have some settings that says keep so they are here anything that says keep in the samsung notes is here widgets is here youtube search is here even netflix is here we have galaxy store results play store results with google search you can search on youtube as well so it's a fantastic feature no matter what you want to search about you can search in the finder and it will provide you all the results that you want now you can tap on this menu button here and then go in settings and you can select what type of results you want to see so there are a lot of options here we have chrome settings suggestions 
photos, show app options in searches, download in screenshots, show search history, search text in documents, show web search suggestions, hidden apps, and then you can also delete your search history. The second option here is choose apps to search in so you can select specific apps that you want the finder to search in and obviously if you want to exclude any particular apps you can unselect them here as well if you have a samsung galaxy laptop and a galaxy tablet you can then use the tablet as a second screen for your laptop and you can turn this feature on by going in quick controls and tapping on this icon here or you can go in settings go in connected devices and then go in second screen on your laptop, you have to go in your Samsung settings, similarly go in connected devices and turn on the second screen. And then you can use your tablet as a second screen for your Galaxy Book or Galaxy Laptop. And what's really cool is that if you swipe up, the second screen is right here and you can continue to use your tablet the way you want. And whenever you want that second screen back, just tap on it and it will come back. There is this neat little feature called pinned apps on this tablet. And for that, you have to go in settings, go in security and privacy, then go in more security settings. And here you will access this feature called allow apps to be pinned. You can go in here and you can read more about it. So if you're handing your tablet over to someone else, to your kids or someone else, and you don't want them to wander off into your gallery or something like that you can turn on this feature and what this will do is that it will um, pin the apps and they cannot get out of it so if i go back and from here i can go in here and i can pin this app and this will be pinned now i cannot go back to the home screen i cannot access the notification panel i cannot do anything to turn this off you have to swipe up and hold and that will turn off the pinned app feature in the security and privacy settings if you go in more security settings you will see this option called block usb connections while locked so the purpose of this is to protect your data prevent usb devices from connecting when your tablet has been locked for more than an hour so if you connect your usb and your device is locked for more than an hour it will not work